is one of the best things about Hungary. I love food and all the food that I ate in Hungary was so good. The best food I think is like my comfort food there is the toted kaposta, the stuffed cabbage. It has like meat and rice and all these vegetables and seasonings and then they stew it in this sauce and it's just so good. <laughs> Oh uh, man, if I could eat Hungarian food every day, I would. Um, but it was also crazy because there was other foods other than these traditional foods. Like this one time I ate this um, cream of corn soup, or no, 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 it was cream of carrot soup that this nanny, this old lady had made for me. And I was super skeptical about it because it's like this orange soup and it looks nasty, but it was so delicious. And it's just, everything is home cooked and homemade. And so it's super fresh and super yummy. Um, I also love Tudo Rudis, okay? So they're just so good. I love the Spar brand Tudo Rudis. I would buy a package a week <laughs> and it's a five pack. And so I'd have to not eat them on two of the days. And so I had to strategically plan like what days I wouldn't be having one of those because I just love them so much. I was living in Seged during the summer. So it's burning hot, just so humid and i love hungarian ice cream the foggy there is unreal um so my companion and i we would eat ice cream every day like without fail we would replace water with this foggy there's a foggy stand in Sega that's so good it's just the ice cream there is so inexpensive and they give you these huge scoops and it's so good every flavor is just my favorite flavor everything in hungary is so delicious except for the pig jello. Nobody likes the pig jello. <laughs> um, a lot of the food is um, meat based. And so we had things like purkult, where it's like a, a stew based kind of thing, where it's just stewed meat and it has paprika, which is the most popular seasoning there. Paprika is found in everything. So I love purkult and I love paprikash cirka and uh, paprikash um krumpli and then there's also other stuff like rockwood krumpli which is like stacked potatoes and that's so good i don't know they just do it differently in hungary and you can put like anything like paprika or kolbas boiled eggs is in everything and i love that one of my not so favorite foods they would have like it's called turos tasta so they have pasta and then they put turo in it and turo is like Imagine cottage cheese minus the liquid. So it's just the cheese curds. So it's like pasta and cheese curds and it's really, really salty. It was like decent, but I like grew to love it. So that was pretty crazy because it's not a thing I would eat over here. One of my favorite things was trying um, American restaurants over there. Well, they weren't actually American restaurants. They were Hungarian restaurants imitating American food and they would get super close, <laughs> but it was so fun to see like ha imitating like a hamburger, you know, at like a smaller joint. It was just like kind of different. And so that was super fun. They were pretty good. And it was actually sometimes I think better than American food. The food in Hungary is really delicious. It's a little heavier than we were used to here. Um, one of the favorite dishes is chicken paprika, which they make with um, a delicious paprika that uh, is made in Hungary. There's a, a savory uh, paprika and a spicy and you can season all of your dishes with that seasoning and it's used heavily in a lot of the Hungarian food. Uh, they also will serve that with and it's it's made in kind of a creamy sauce and then they put that over a nocetli noodle that they make from scratch that's made kind of like a dumpling with the flour and egg and water and then they put it through a little nocetli machine that you put on top of the stove and get boiling water and then it falls into the water and makes these little dumplings. So they put the uh, paprika over this homemade nocetli that's a really one of their most famous dishes. Um, another famous dish that they make in Hungary is their goulash and it's a delicious stew. It's very savory, 
has vegetables and uh, carrots and and just a a good brown sauce. Yeah, tomatoey brown sauce. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that that's also a real popular dish. Well, the Hungarians, one of the things that we notice different there is beef is very rare. You have a lot of pork mainly, and then chicken. But very rarely will you get beef. And so we had to get used to eating a lot of pork because that was the main meat for the country of Hungary, mm-hmm. probably a lot of the Eastern European countries. Um, and one of the favorite desserts that they use there, uh, they call them pancakes, but they're often referred to as a crepe in uh, Eastern Europe. And they're made similar in a crepe pan, and then they roll them up with some jam uh, or um, Nutella. Okay. And they're delicious with berries, and that's also a very, very common. And kind of surprisingly, we found that there is a, a large Italian food influence in Hungary. Mm-hmm. Uh, oven pizzas are found all over the mm-hmm. place, and a lot of pastas and a lot of uh, Italian dishes are there as well. One of the fun things that you can't go to Hungary and not try is to go to Roses, and it's across from the St. Stephen's Basilica, and it has rose ice cream cones and they make those individually scooped by petals so you'll choose three different flavors and they'll go through and fill the filling and then different petals one color the petals another color so you have three different when you get done you've got an ice cream cone that looks like a beautiful colorful flower and they're delicious and so you that's that's really one of the fun things that we, everybody that would come to visit we'd always have to take them to get a rose ice cream because they were delicious there's a thing called rakot krimpli which translates to like stacked potatoes it's kind of like a casserole dish with potatoes and a better version of sour cream called tefu there's a lot of like hungarian specific foods that unfortunately they're not like the best replacements for here but you have potatoes sour cream ish stuff and then you have uh hard-boiled eggs that are sliced and a type of sausage that's called kolbas and it's all wonderful so you just like layer that over and over and it's super good i had like a goal that i wanted to be known as a the person that was the best cook in all the land so I, I tried to ask as many people as possible if they would teach me how to make things. So one of the things I learned how to make is, um, I guess there's two. The one is called um, protocote. It's a type of kind of like a stew. But you can, like any Hungarian would tell you that the best way to make it is to like spend eight to ten hours letting it like simmer for a long time. But I really liked making that. There's another one called lecho, which was just like a bunch of tomatoes and peppers in another type of stew type stuff. Really anything though. I never really came across anything that was like gross or weird. It was all really wonderful. <laughs> There's a lot of good a lot of good food in Hungary, a lot of good cooks. So I feel like all the weird foods are served around Christmas time. You can have meat jello anytime, but a lot of times it would come up around Christmas. Um, and then the other one was uh, one time I had, they do fish soup around Christmas time as well, and I had it at a person's house one time, and I thought that I had found the fish's brains, but it was actually the female fish's ovary sacs, and so that was really, it was really gross. That was really, un, I don't know, it was just like gritty and sandy and very uncomfortable to eat, so that's like the worst that I got. There's like a lot of things that are different like they eat pickled stuff all the time with everything and so when I first got there that was kind of like weird but at the end I still love to do that I like to have like sauerkraut all the time and everything my favorite food I guess that I had first tried in Hungary it's not necessarily specifically Hungarian food is um, stuffed cabbage I like to think of it as like a cabbage burrito so it's a cabbage filled with with like meat and rice that you slow boil basically in a big pot with like tomato sauce super tasty i really like that one food that is a big staple in hungary like you won't find anywhere else is this little snack food called a turo rudi so turo is their version of cottage cheese essentially it's a little bit drier than cottage cheese but a turo rudi is basically a chocolate covered bar of turo and they usually put like some kind of filling in it like like nutella filling or 
or just like I don't know anything different flavors they have like strawberry flavored ones they do have pig jello and like blood sausage and stuff I never had to try any of that thank heavens <laughs> I was I was praying I would never have to try any when we would get let into people's houses they would always give us some something to drink at least or even something to eat a lot of the time and I feel like that's a kind of custom that's totally missing in America but like literally you go into someone's house it's kind of like a an expectation there I guess that you offer something to the guest as the host and so we always got like baked goods just tasty treats or even dinner a lot of times and I thought that was super cool it's something I want to adopt in my personal home